I've been exploring the beautiful coastal villages in West Sussex, but now it's time I left these shores altogether. I may have mentioned before, but I love ferries, and today I'm in for a real treat. I'm going to the Isle of Wight on the hovercraft. <laughs> It was Queen Victoria who made the Isle of Wight a tourist mecca. Then it took a traveller an hour by battle steamer to make the crossing. Today, most people take the ferry, which still takes around 45 minutes. But some hop aboard the hovercraft, and that takes just 10 minutes. It's all right if I sit here, is it? Oh yes, no problem at all. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much, Martin. Lovely to see you. Martin Groves has allowed me the rare privilege of being on the flight deck for the crossing. We're going to be flying at three metres. Because we're flying, we're not sailing. No, definitely flying, albeit at three metres. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? Well, you can feel it. We're, it's extraordinary. We're actually airborne. The hovercraft is a British invention. Designed by Sir Christopher Cockrell in the 1950s, it was developed and built on the Isle of Wight. There seems no limit to the hovercraft's potential. I remember when you could catch the hovercraft all the way to France. Sadly, today this remains the only commercial crossing in the entire country. That's a hovercraft there, isn't well, it? Yep, yeah, we've got two on the water at the moment. Yes. So this is like the new generation and the one on the left there. They're actually 30 years old. Are they really? Are you Isle of Wight? Oh, friend? very much so. We tossed a coin to see who would do this, and I won. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you lost. Ah. <laughs> the Isle of Wight is just 147 square miles. Along its northern coast, there are a number of popular resorts, such as Cows and Ride. But I'm going cross-country. 